Hello Tubes, how's it going? So Kazoom went to a, um, went, well, not a, went to the uh, anti-Sharia march in Seattle and was hoping it wouldn't be filled with a bunch of Christian Dominionists and well, big surprise, uh, it was. Uh, I, I made this post on Facebook. Uh, I'm just going to read it if you don't mind. I, I, I think I said it pretty well first time. I'll probably screw it up if I try to summarize. I said, I think part of the reason you don't get a lot of sane, rational, anti-Sharia advocates is because most people recognize that the biggest corrupting religious influence on politics from our culture comes from Christianity, not Islam. So while somebody like me would be wholly opposed to the notion of including Sharia law in our secular law, it's just a straight up non-issue. So I can't be arsed to march against it, not when actual anti-woman and anti-freedom legislation is being passed in the name of the Christian God. I mean, that, that's just the way it is. Um, every, every issue in our society is going to be boiled down to left versus right. And the right is, is wholly going towards the ideology of the Christian God. And the left seems to be married uh, to this new religion of social justice. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that. I think it breaks down conversation. I think it eliminates nuance. Um, and it sucks because we can't actually have a rational informed decision. You're going to have people on the right saying that you hate your country, that you hate God, that you hate morality, that you love sin. And then on the left, you're going to have people saying that you hate women, that you hate minorities, uh, that you hate justice, that you want injustice, that you want people to be hurt. If you dare to uh, disagree with any of their positions, and I wouldn't disagree with a reasonable position. So it's when I'm disagreeing with what I perceive as an unreasonable position, which incites an unreasonable response. It's fucking annoying as shit because I actually want to fix problems in our society. I'm not particularly interested in a dogmatic adherence to some ideology. I want discussions. I want to believe in the goodness of people and the ability of them to change their mind. And it seems like like what, what is supposed to be my camp uh, is just interested in demonizing individuals and kicking them out. And then what I historically perceived as the opposition camp seems to be exactly the same way. So you just, you just get radicals dominating the conversation and moderates just want everybody to shut up. And then they hand us a ballot and uh, it has two choices on it. And then we're supposed to infer from that that we have choice or control or influence. It's just, it's all bullshit. It's, 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 it's very fatiguing. Um, a lot of the hope for the future that I had uh, is is gone. It's just I'm I'm jaded. It's as simple as that. And so while I still believe in the goodness of humans, I don't necessarily believe that we can necessarily make progress, at least not at a fast pace. And so when I try to raise my hand and say, hey, you know, destroying the goodwill of moderates toward liberal causes is probably bad in the long run. I don't actually think that they're bad people that are, are telling me to shut the fuck up. I just think that they've been programmed to do this. They've been programmed to, you know, work against their own best interests. And it seems like that's the only people that are left uh, for the dialogue. Uh, things might get worse. And uh, the best coping mechanism I've come up with is to just try to not care. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't want the best for society or for humans, but I mean, I, I can't let it ruin my life that humans are self-destructive.